So I am uh, um, Jingjing Ling. Um, I'm currently working as an assistant professor at the Center for IT-Based Education at Toyohashi University of Technology. Um, in Japanese, it's known as Gikadai in Toyohashi City. And uh, um, in the last one year, actually, I was um, assigned a task of play, uh, uh, playing with Moodle and Mahara together as a bundled system um, to perhaps build a future online learning space and, and community of practices for Gikadai teachers and students. So today's workshop is based on my last year's experience playing with Mahara platform. Um, so before I start this workshop, I would like to run some short poll so we can get to know the audience a little bit. So if you can um, kindly vote to, let me see, um, how is the fam uh, familiarity level of the audience to the Mahara platform? That would be very nice. So far we have 100%, um, five participants, um, showing that it's, you know, half at least so far, not familiar with the platform. Um, so, Hold on, let me make sure one thing um, that is, can anybody hear me or see the screen properly? Can anybody hear me? So um, you can vote to let me know as well. Just just to, to make sure that um, everything is fine here. So, um, so far I know that half of the audience at least um, are not familiar with Mahara. And uh, in this uh, workshop of 90 minutes, I'm going to um, show you basically in the role of student what you can do um, as um, student and both, uh, both both student and teacher in the Mahara environment. So um, basically, um, I will first brief you what you will learn and what you will not from this workshop. So first, um, Mahara is an e-portfolio system. So you're going to understand what is e-portfolio and uh, what Mahara is and uh, you will understand how to use Mahara platform as a student. And then you will create step-by-step uh, -step your own e-portfolio pages in a, a demo site that I built for you. And you are going to assemble all the pages into one collection and you will have a complete collection of e-portfolio pages as a result of attending this um, workshop. And you are going also to experience creating your own group and uh, interact with other people in different groups. And uh, just as a little bit technical detail here, you are going to understand the connection between Moodle and Mahara, but not in too much detail, just to have a basic understanding how they are to these two are connected and what can be done through this kind of networked um, platforms between these two. But um, you will not understand after this workshop how to operate Mahara as system admin, for instance. That will be too much technical details for beginners. So um, the next I would like to um, introduce about the schedule of this 90 minutes. Um, so first, um, as I mentioned before, I built a actually online course for this um, work workshop, um, which you can visit later freely um, using the account you are going to uh, create later. 
And on that online course, you are going to have six uh, lessons in the course. And each lesson introduces you to different aspects of Mahara. And for each lesson, you are going to be assigned an online assignment that you can submit and that will be combined later to be a final assignment. So this workshop is very much a learning by doing experience. So I will not talk too much. In fact, I will involve you in a very interactive learning by doing online experience through this workshop. So um, as you can see here, there are C1, C2, until C6. These are six lesson level assignments that you are going to do um, for each lesson. And the C is the total course level assignment that are um, that, that is the page that is the collection of pages that you created in the lesson level assignment. Okay, so in the end you're going to have a six level uh, lesson level assignment and one course level assignment and that will basically give you an overall idea what Mahara is, how it works, what kind of activities are supported and how Moodle and Mahara can be combined to form a very interesting um, learning community for both teachers and students. It's a rather very long presentation here, but I promise that it's going to be um, fun for everybody if you actually engage with this um, course. So another detail to the assignment you are going to be doing with me in this 90 minutes, mm -hmm. that is um, actually the C4 assignment um, is based on your assignment submission of the C2 and the C3. Although you can actually self-study later, um, jumping into different lessons of the course without a problem, but when it, comes, when it comes to assignment, you do need to follow the sequence because you need to reuse the assignment that you submitted before to form a letter assignment. Okay, so that's just a small detail to remind you. Um, now, let's go to the um, demo course, the course that I built for you. Um, the URL is as shown on the screen, and I'm going to also publish it in the chat, in the public chat. Wonderful. Okay, so um, if you can kindly go to this website and I'm going to share my screen now. Scroll tap, we'll go to the course, share. Okay, so more or less, you are going to um, arrive at a website, Research IC Courses. This is my hobby project. Um, I use this website to share some tips about um, um, research productivity, how to write um, academic papers, how to do research, etc. And uh, this is the courses I built lately to um, create the, the demo courses for you. And it later will pro probably be populated with some other courses. But let's begin with Mahara in 90 minutes. Okay, so in order to have an account on this platform, you needed to click login and you will see the login interface here. You can log in directly with your Google account. If not, you can create new account here. So you can choose either use your existing Google account to directly log in, but make sure you log in your Google account first, okay? So use this button or use this button to create your new account there. So you have, let's say, two minutes to do this. And once you're done, please post uh, done in the public chat area so I know the progress of the um, workshop so I can move on.
So if anybody, you have any question, because this is who oh, Steve is quite fast. <laughs> so um, in case of any question, uh, you just pop up. You don't need to write, raise your hand or whatsoever because we have a very small audience here. So um, if you, you prefer keep your mic on in case, you know, just make sure your environment is quiet. No, no baby crying or truck passing like a thunder in the background. So just make sure the um, environment is quiet for conversation, like what we are doing here. Um, so you, you are free to, to actually turn on your mic and ask any questions, seek help um, in, during the whole workshop. Okay. So let's give um, the rest of the audience a little bit more time. Yay, it's going pretty good. So the technical setup here. Um, oh, by the way, so um, as you can see here, um, the Google button um, actually is, um, well, it doesn't by default come with Moodle, isn't it? You have to actually set up an auth, O-A-U-T-H, um, auth um, surface, service inside Moodle to allow the Google account holders to directly sign in. So that's a technical um, parameter that you actually also can learn from this workshop by downloading a file inside the course. So in case you have a Moodle site in your school or you are a teacher who would like to experiment with Moodle and you would like to have students using their Google account to directly sign in, um, you can follow that document and uh, you, you will achieve exactly what you are doing now, this kind of e effect, okay? I found out in big blue button, if you didn't join with audio, you can leave the audio, rejoin audio with the microphone, then leave your microphone muted until you are ready to speak. Oh, interesting. Yeah, thanks, Steve. So um, I think, yeah, by the way, does it pronounce as auth or O-auth? I usually say O-auth. O-auth too. <laughs> o I would say O-auth too. O-auth too. Authentic. Authentication. What's the full name of this? Is O authentication? What does O stand, by the way? I think it's open authentication. I think ah, okay, hmm. cool. Thank you very much. So um, I think more or less, let me check the, um, let me log in as the admin and check the, the participant there. So um, now I am in, I'm going to the course here. Yeah, let's see this course. Let me go to the navigation participants. Let's see who are inside now. We have James Bond, Maria Curry. That's the, these are all like um, some testing account that I put in just, okay. So um, that's a start, shall we? We go to this course. This is a landing page of the course, and there are six lessons below. So let me explain first. Um, for each lesson, actually. So first, you are going to have all the assignments listed here under C, assignments and assessment. And C is the final assignment that is on the course level, and the link is here. And C1 to C6 are the lesson level assignment. And these are URL links that are hyperlinked to each lesson's assignment activity that you can see here in the beginning of each le lesson. Okay, so you have under lesson one, C1 to begin. Under lesson two, C2 to begin. And this is basically based on um, a 
teaching model that I lately have been playing with. It's called Clear. So I believe that, um, in fact, I am a learner um, in the style sorry, of you create up? to learn. Sorry? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are we following you doing something now? Yes, yes. Can, can, you, can you see, All actually? Right. Yes, I could see it, but I just kind of missed the, I missed what we were doing right now. Sorry. I was, um, I was can you see me operating on the, on the course yeah. now? Yeah, I see that fine. Uh, you, have to, else, I got a little lost. you have to all you mean you the have audio to bring loss. us all into the course. Yes, I'm walking you through the course now. Great, great. Sorry, but, I, I was. But I just, we are not in the course. I'm not in the course. Um, let let us see? let us into the course. Um, can you see my? Hold on, hold on. Let me. So what I did is I share Chrome tab and I click the tab of the course and you should see now I'm operating on the course interface, right? In the Mahara in 90 minutes in a Moodle environment now. Can anybody see that? Yes, I can see that. I think people are not entering Mahara 90. I think that might be huh. the issue. They, they got to the login, the dashboard, or the the login page. Oh, that's right. That's a very good point. <laughs> Sorry, indeed. Right. That's that's one thing that um I didn't mention. Indeed. So um sorry. Um, thank you for the feedback. If you actually now follow me, go to the site home. Go to the site home. So there's a navigation button here, right? Click it, and on the second of that menu, you have site home. And you are going to scroll down to the courses and you have Mahara in 90 minutes under the teaching. You click it and you should be able to enroll it, enroll into this course. Okay, let me make sure that. Um... Give me a moment, let me. Make sure that you can self enroll. Yes, I think you can self enroll yourself. So you can, um, you can sort the participants by the last access to kind of see who all got in. Last access. Scroll down a little more. Mm -hmm. You mean navigate here or, or go to the participant, the participant list? Participants. Participant list. And then go down a little bit, go down. And then if you click on the last access uh, column, the second, go up a little higher. A little higher. Okay, see that last access to course? Right hand side. Right. Down a little bit. Oh, here, here. Oh, yeah, that, okay. that can just sort it. And you click it one more time. And that'll bring all of the people who have logged on recently. So you can see uh... how many people have logged on. That's that's awesome. Thank you very much. Okay. So um, we have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven people inside. Everybody in, inside fine, right? So far, let's go to this course now, the landing page, by using the um, the the breadcrumb here. So you go to the landing page. So everybody is on the same page now, right? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> now, um, if you allow me, let me proceed um, just by briefly introducing you again, um, what you can do with this course. So first, you have all the assignment here, as you can see. Can er everybody see fine now? So these are the um, this is the section where you will find all the assignments, both course level and lesson level, just fine here. And under each lesson, you are going to have one assignment that will involve you in an activity that will be finished on Mahara side, and then it will be sent back to Moodle. Okay, 
So this is what we called Mahara assignment in Moodle. And I was introduced a little bit later uh, in one lesson inside the course, how it was um, done. Okay. So, but anyway, for now, this is where you start for each lesson. You start looking at the assignment and follow the instruction and you do it. And in case that you encounter a problem, um, you can just, you know, turn on your mic and ask in the group, uh, inside the workshop. Okay. So um, then in the Ella part, so as I said, it's, it's, it's a teaching model. Lately, I've been playing with. And you will see some um, letters such as C, L, E, A, R, and they represent something. Cre C represent create learn. So that is the assignment in this course. You will start uh, doing something in order to attach the learning to the activity. L is to locate the knowledge. So you locate what you are going to learn in a bigger body of uh, uh, human knowledge. So that can create meaningful learning experience for students because they will understand why am I doing this. And then you have the E, which is to enrich details of the presented knowledge. So I call it the flesh of the um, course. So that's where you get all the details of the teaching. And then in the end, you have um, apply learning to create and reflect on learning. And these two parts, um, apply learning to create and reflect on the learning, probably we will not cover it because of the limit of the time. So more or less, we're going to organize this way. We're going to go through each assignment together. And I will tell you, uh, I already pre-recorded some videos under the locate the knowledge the L, L label. So you will find the resources under this one and uh, L and E in case you need the instruction um, to finish the assignment. Okay, so what you need to follow in this workshop on the course is a C, L, and a E. Okay, so um, let's begin with introducing what is Mahara. Okay, Mahara basically is like Facebook. It's a social networking platform where students can freely. Uh, sorry. Anybody say something? Okay, so um, so basically, students can freely, um, let's say, uh, create groups, create pages. They can interact with other people by messaging. They can create their own pages with different kind of multimedia elements on it, and uh, it's their very free way to express their ideas to the digital form. Okay, so um, so. Mahara is actually also an open, is actually an open source web-based electronic portfolio management system. So for portfolio, um, many of you may already know that, for instance, if you are a painter, your portfolio will be a collection of, for instance, painting, right? So you are going to show to um, other people, this is what I've done to show your competence as a painter. As students, they needed to demonstrate their learning progress, their learning outcomes from different sources, especially from their courses in the in the school. So how can they do that? You know, you can well you can publish some status on Facebook, share with your friends, um, but many universities and uh, uh, even you know K one two uh, schools are now also using Mahara as a kind of add-on attachment um, supplementary platform to add to their course management system. Um, because Moodle is quite, let's say, teacher-centered. So teacher actually um, create this space and uh, create this structure as what I did for this workshop. So you follow the style, whatever style or content teacher posted in this space. Okay, so that's quite teacher-centered. As for Mahara, it's more student-centered. They have their own profile. They can create whatever they want on their under their profile. And they can create different types of pages. It's 
it's like also, you know, what like web development. So if you ever know, for instance, uh, Weebly or WordPress, you will know that making website nowadays is rather easy. Um, so Mahara is kind of like that too. It's a tool for students to build web pages rather easily. Okay, but it's not just to present content, but also to build a community. So that's why the Mahara, besides giving the user the uh, capability of building pages with the different content, but also give them the power to create a group, to share content inside and outside, and to introduce imports, you know, different kind of um, um, sources of content from, for instance, Moodle, from um, um, share, uh, share slide from YouTube, you know, all kinds of sources you can share the content, import the content into Mahara. So it becomes like a terminal where you can demonstrate what you have learned, what you have done um, as a learner. And that's imagine that if the university maintains the Mahara, uh, Mahara, Mahara site for like 10 years, and one student use the Mahara site for 10 years, Okay, so all the all the actually pages accumulated using this terminal will be enormous, in, enormous, in, enormous, right? So also Mahara can allow students to export the content to outside. So um, if later they find a better tool, they can actually bring all the content out of Mahara. But the important thing is students need to form a habit that can allow them to organize their learning in a dynamic, in a very um, interesting, engaging way. Okay, so, so this is like a learning with technology. Um, technology becomes not just knowledge informing tool, but knowledge constructing tool for every learner. And Mahara is such a technology at hand for students um, in your university or your school to use. So that's just a brief introduction of uh, what Mahara is. And now let's go to the first assignment. If you can uh, scroll down to lesson one and click C1, you will see the first assignment is to create your first resume page on Mahara. Okay, so um, let's first go to visit Mahara, shall we? If you click navigation here and, oh, sorry, sorry, not navigation, network service, you will find a hyperlink text called Home Mahara. You click Home Mahara, you will be directed directly to Mahara site, which is connected to this Moodle instance um, already. Um, sorry, my server is a little bit slow, <laughs> but eventually you will be there. Um, well, another thing that I would like to mention is that um, Mahara has different functions that are very interesting. Uh, however, unlike Facebook, okay, it's a little bit buggy. I would say it's very buggy. So um, as developer, actually, um, as a system admin, you may find a lot of uh, um, problem uh, when you are trying to connect Moodle and Mahara or when you are trying to operate on Mahara to configure things. Um, because also their documentation sometimes is a little bit outdated. And uh, the interface chain changed the document the documentation didn't quite catch up, things like that. So um, be aware of this um, small um, detail that you needed to consider. So now we are on the site of um, Mahara, as you can see, you have landed in Research IC portal, which is a, uh, which is a, a Mahara enabled e-portfolio platform here. So as you can see that you are now already inside this Mahara website with the account you just created. Okay. So, so now that what, what we can do, we can go to um, profile and you are going to see, oops, 
there's uh, some broken link. Give me a second. Let me just go back. Let me refresh here. Okay. So um, another thing is like between Moodle and Mahara, after you connect them, um, actually the profile um, content that you set up in Moodle will be brought to Mahara automatically. So let's say if you click here profile, please go, oh Jesus, what happened? Um, I have no idea what happened, but uh, Let's try again. You know, this is another thing, you know, like not that stable. That's that's the problem of Mahara. And uh, um, you have to to be when you in when you create an instance connected to Moodle, um, you know, Mahara instance like this to Moodle, um, this kind of technical bugs. Um, can, sometimes can be very annoying. So um, make sure that if you want to experiment with the Mahara, you have um, um, at least an engineer or a technical guy who is with the um, you know, programming, at least um, background, who can help you um, resolve problems when it comes. Okay, so um, let's go back here. Go to the courses. Let me stop sharing the course first. Okay, so um, let me go. Seems, sorry, it seems to be actually yeah. visible on my screen. Would you like me to uh, share my screen and you can just talk me through what you want to show? Yeah, that'd be great. I have okay. no idea what happened. I mean, I have been practicing with it the whole morning and it still somehow didn't work. <laughs> it's, it's a strange thing. It happens sometimes. It is. Thank you, Adam. No problem. Oh, okay. so um, when Adam is getting us there. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. So, um, so when just you to, see... to get here, I clicked on my name up here and profile. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So what you see here is actually some uh, tabs, right? You have some about me, things like that. Um, you can connect it to other social media stuff. But um, one thing is that about me, if you click about me tab, and if you go under, there is introduction, right? Introduction. So this part, is it editable for you? Is it is edit editable uh, for you? Not at the moment. No, right? Because I disabled it. Because if now you go to Moodle to edit your profile's introduction there, you will be up. Um, when you come here again, refresh the page, it will be actually um, updated with the Moodle introduction uh, content. So that's just one thing I want to let you know for the moment. So uh -huh. um, let's go go back to uh, because you know how uh, this is more or less like. Uh, um, the trial, trial and the error thing, uh, because mm. for maybe two or three days, I was super pissed off because I, I updated my profile in Mahara, yet it just kept it being erased off once I saved it. And then later I realized, oh, it is because um, you know, once you match Moodle and Mahara, um, this kind of connection brings the content from Moodle to Mahara to, uh, so, um, whatever you needed to update about yourself, um, it's on the Moodle side. Okay, so um, let's go back to our first assignment about your resume, okay? So um, you can go to, let Sorry. me see. Um, you can go to lesson one and click the lesson one. Click starting in Mahara under enrich details of the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here you will find several actually um, content 
several um, details about uh, um, how to edit your profile. And if you click um, table of contents on the left, the navigation, yeah, um, table of content, you can navigate through the different uh, um, things there. So there are four parts of content here. Um, if you can click create your resume, Yeah, and you can um, maybe maybe we can watch together this. Um... Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Maybe we can watch this together. Like this is uh, no, first, this is too long. <laughs> this is too long. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. So, can anybody hear the voice of the video? I'm not playing it at the moment, but earlier I can hear it, but um well it's eight minutes long, but um let's do it maybe in lifetime. Um just give me a moment to see if I can do it here myself now. That's rather strange, isn't it? Um, sorry, give me a moment to log out and log in as another teacher. Maybe that will change something. Okay. So if you can use this time to um, watch the video, and I will come back to you um, when you have questions. I will now go inside. I'll just paste the address of the video if, in case you're having difficulty finding the, um, <clears throat> the, uh, the page. That's the one. Thank you very much, Adam. Let me see, resume. Yeah, now I actually um, log in as the, another teacher and I can access it. And uh, um, thank you, Adam. I will take over and uh, go back to my Chrome site resume here. Okay, so um, how to edit your resume? Okay, first, you go to this, um, you go to Mahara and you click this um, right corner to bring out the menu. And you have, see, create, share, engage, and manage, okay? So create is basically to allow you create different kind of contents such as pages and collections. So pages and collections, they are the major, um, let's say expression method in Mahara, okay. Um, you can, of course, also upload some files that you created uh, from your local machine, or you can write some journals about your study progress. You can also write some notes to some reading. You can make some study plans, or if you are collaborating with other students uh, upon some project from a course, you can make a group plan together so that each other is on the same page. And here you see resume. If you click resume here, you will be landing on this page, okay? So you can write cover letter. If you click cover letter, the edit button, this is cover letter. You just randomly put in anything you want. So you can follow me now, or if you later you um, do it yourself, that's also fine. But now I'm just quickly showing you um, what you can do with this. So let's say I was born, let's say January, um, you just put in any date, okay, uh, here, but here, go to today, okay. So let's say you just shift to a day, whatever it works. Um, here, let's say, oh, I was quite early born. Oh, no, I was not born yet. Um, 
here let's say this one okay so you can place also your city let's say toyohashi let's say uh, in japanese let's say visa is a global citizen whatsoever you can put in anything and let's say married and you click save and that is the first part of your resume done okay and you have other four parts to fill in just to put in some random things it can be real it can be fictional it doesn't matter but the thing is you needed to put in something so it has some uh, content inside it later you will see how you it will be look uh, how it will be like when it is added to your page okay if there's no content when you add your resume to a page it will be empty so you cannot see the effect so whatever you want to put in do it now you have one minute to do it okay you can put in some my goals buy a dog plant a, a tree um conquer uh, a city i don't know so putting any goal that you want to do here and you can also add some interests it's rather quite thorough so the idea of resume is to allow students um you know have an idea of what resume is like and uh, build their skills under these umbrellas of skills and experiences so they um, more or less have a kind of a, a compass to follow isn't it so that's the one thing about resume it's not only to show who you are but also to kind of guide you where you can go so that is one thing that you can do um, finish the resume and then after one minute, I will tell you how to add the resume to the page. And once you are done with the resume um, content feeling, please put a down in the public chat so we can proceed. All right, could you one more time navigate to the re resume page there? To the creating? I'm, yes. I'm on the profile edit page. Profile page. Here. I'm on edit profile. I guess it's editing my own profile. That's, is that okay. wrong? Oh, so no. This, this is the profile. I'm talking about resume. So you should click this three line, white yes. line. Uh, oh, gotcha. Go to create. Okay. Hi. And click a resume. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so profile and resume you. are rather different. Profile is for the account on the Mahara. Resume is to build your professional resume. Okay. Thank, thank you. Welcome. So if you're done, yeah, if you're done with this step, you can put a uh, type a down how to open my resume. So um, if you are looking at the someone ask again, research IC portal, um, if you are on this page, you go to the right side of the corner and you have create, share, engage, and manage. You click this besides create and you will find resume here and you create resume. That's where you are going to find the resume. Okay. Amunzer, did you get it? So if anybody has a problem with uh, this step, please voice out. Um, <laughs> no need to be too thorough, okay? <laughs> no need to submit too thorough content to this. Uh, just add uh, maybe one sentence or one record, and I can move on to tell you how to add the resume to the page, okay? So um, whatever you added, I will proceed now. Um, now let's try to go to, if you click this again, um, to bring out the menu, you go to pages and collections. You are going to jump to um, the place where you are going to create pages now. And the thing is that on page, in Mahara, it works like this. You can create a new page and you can add different types of content to it. Okay. 
no matter if it's your resume or some external um, media. So now we are on this page. You see this add button here. If you click this add button and you have two choices, one is collection, one is page. Collection is basically a group of pages. So it's a container. Um, you can say it's a folder of pages, okay? So, but you cannot, uh, you cannot create a page without uh, existing pages. Yeah, you, you cannot uh, create a collection without uh, existing pages. So you have to create a page first. So go to page. Here, on the page, editing page, you can say um, your, let's say my page will be Jing Jing Ling Resume. Okay, your page will be your name, Resume. Okay, name it properly because later you are going to submit it to Moodle. Okay, so on this page, you see title, page description, you can add something, t t type some tag if you want Resume, for instance. And you can have some advanced um, function, but uh, for this demonstration, let's ignore it. Save. Now you have a new page um, in Mahara. Um, you have, you can see like one, two, three, four, five buttons on the right of the page. If you click the plus button here, it will ask you to specify where you want this element to go on the page, bottom or top. For now, it doesn't matter because there's no element, right? So we just say, okay, top. We can click add. Now let's say resume, give it a name of the ele uh, element. So here you can click show more under the content types, okay? Content types gives you a lot of choices to add different types of content to the page. For now, let's go for my entire resume. Click it and then save. Yeah, there you go, okay? You now are displaying your whole resume that you just created on this page. Okay, this is a page you created to share your resume, for instance. So how to share it, for instance. Now we have a page, how to share it. Here, if you go to the fourth button here, you have a unlock icon, right? You click it. You will have two main choices, right? you know, not choices, like two, um, two categories of uh, um, characteristics you needed to specify. First, um, you can share with other people. So you can see here, share with, if you pull out the um, drop down list here, you can share with a friend, group, person, or these are all inside the Mahara, okay? So you can also choose to share with the public. These are also um, inside Mahara, inside Mahara. Or you can, you know, choose to share with the whole institution um, on the whole Mahara site or to specific group you are inside. So for now, let's say we choose to share with public, okay? Then we can click Save. This is one way to share it. Another way is you click the lock again. If you remember, there is secret URLs here, okay? So if you click the button to add a new secret URL, you can allow people without the Mahara account to access to your page. This can be very handy when you, for instance, send the, send the resume to a potential um, employer, for instance, okay? So they don't need the account, they can directly access it. It's like a public page. So um, that will be the resume part. 
you now have a resume page. Let's go back to the C1 assignment. So you go to the C1 assignment and you are going to scroll down and you are going to view or some, um, for me, it's like view all submissions. For you, probably there will be a button to, to um, submit, a, the, um, submit a new submission, something like that. Um, so this is my, um, so let me just quickly um, go outside and log in as a student. So I can share with you how it is like uh, on your side and how to proceed. Oh, great. Okay, now I am logging as the student. Let's go to the course and I will tell you how it is like. Um, let's go to the first assignment. Here, you will see at the end of the page, add submission, right? Add submission. And you'll be jumping to this page. Excuse me, Jing Jing, you're, yes. you're, you're showing Mahara page still. Oh, oh, okay, right. Thank you very much. Um, let me go to another. Mahara, this one. Yeah, so if you go to the C1 assignment page, at the end of it, you will see add submission. You click add submission. And then you are going to see you have no available pages or collections. Please visit this, create a new one. Because I didn't jump to my to my page yet. Um, so this is another thing that you probably need to if inform your students um, because the Mahara is connected to Moodle. So when you give a Mahara assignment on Moodle, if the student didn't jump to Mahara yet, Mahara consider it not logged in. So it will not feed back uh, what kind of pages and collections that student has in his account, okay? So when I come here, because if you remember earlier, I was using teacher account and then I switched to student account login. And uh, um, from my login to my visiting this assignment page, I didn't visit Mahara yet. That's why when I visit this page of uh, assignment on Moodle, it says you can create a new one because you have no available pages or collections, right? So um, because of my new record here, let me see. Um, let me just do something fast just for the sake of showing it. And then create the pages, resume here. Resume is actually as what I did earlier as uh, um, the, the teacher side. Now I'm going to add the resume that I just added to this page. So after I finish doing this, you will see. Um, Sorry, I, I think you're you're sharing one oh. tab at a time, and so every time you switch tabs, we get left behind. <laughs> All right. Um, what should I do? I should I do with Windows or entire screen, maybe? Uh, maybe entire screen or browser window. Yeah, the select browser. window would probably work well. Oh, okay, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. So. Um, I apologize for the, the arrangement here. It's too much jumping around, right? So um, anyway, so let's go back here and that's um, resume, okay?
let's add the resume again. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, somehow, somehow, when earlier, okay, now I can see it. Um, earlier, when I tried to add the resume, it was not showing somehow. So, um, but now let's add it again. Okay, here. So now, now when I change the tab, can anybody see it? Now I am back to the Moodle page um, to submit to my assignment now. Yes, we can see that now. Whew. Okay, so um, now I have updated my, my page, uh, added a resume page there, okay, on Mahara. And now I'm returning, I, I'm back on the assignment page of Moodle. And you see that I have two pages actually um already automatically added to the uh, assignment page of uh, the moodle uh of the moodle so you can directly um uh, choose one or two you know choose one if you want to see how it is like you just click it and it will be it will be automatically um taking you to the oh here click here it will automatically take you to the um, Mahara site to preview your um, creation there. So um, the point is with a, assign, a Mahara assignment on Moodle, um, you, your student doesn't actually have to um, jump out of Moodle to select their pages and send back to Moodle. Actually, they can directly see it um, inside the page of the Moodle um, Moodle um, space. So that's quite convenient. If you have many pages, you, like, you can also search here by using this search um, bar available on the assignment page of Moodle. So that's select a resume and save changes. That will submit the, this page to the teacher um, on the assignment activity directly, then the teacher will be able to look at it, the page by visiting the Mahara site and give you a grade um, in the Mahara assignment activity within Moodle. And that will finish the whole cycle of, you know, um, teach in Moodle, ask assignment, which is created by student in the form of Mahara pages or collections, and then students can select one page or one collection of pages, submit it to the, uh, to the teacher, and the teacher can grade it within Moodle. Okay, so that is uh, just one um, assignment done. So if you have, um, I hope you have, uh, <laughs> I hope you, you are not lost <laughs> because of all this changing between um tabs and uh platforms definitely next time i'll be more uh, aware of this um so anyway we can go back let me um return to the to the teacher role and uh please if you have finished your resume um page um, please submit it back to the c1 assignment page so that I can also show you what it is like as a teacher when the student send back the page, okay? So let's view all submissions. Um, hmm. um, can I ask a quick question? Yes, please. Um, this uh, assignment submission, is, is this a special plugin for the assignment module or something that needs installing or is this in Moodle? Oh, or? so yeah yeah so um that's a very good question let me go back to mahara turn the editing on just to quickly respond to this question so if you add an activity right you have hmm. assignment yep and you click assignment that's just a normal assignment as what you did with other assignment but the only difference here is because mahara is matched with the moodle with the mnet in this case, okay. So um, you have a choice beside file submission and online text. You can select Mahara 
Oh, okay. Does that require a separate plugin? Um, Steve Miley posted to the chat that there was a an admission submission assigned submissions Mahara plugin. Is that necessary or? Um. So after you are after you are um, after you connected Moodle with the Mahara with the Mnet, and hmm. uh, you in you basically. Um, let me think back a little bit because this technical part, um, um, I it took me several, you know, different turns to figure it out. But um, <laughs> right, the right. thing, the thing is, um, if uh, I think it's called a Maha Show now, um, they are still updating the plugin. But yes, there is a plugin. Let me go to, um, let me go to the. Am I admin here? It's Mahasho. If let me see if I can quickly find it. Maha Maharo. It is Maharo. Oh no. Mahasho. Um, I think I will send you the uh, uh the plugin later because uh, um yes, yep, no, basically. No Sure, you need a plugin, yes. And uh, um, that plugin, it's not listed on the plugin database of Moodle because they are currently still updating it. Uh, right, okay. The one that yeah. uh, Steve posted the link to is about three years old. So there's probably yeah. another one if we looked at the Mahara webpage then, I guess. Yeah, so they have the um, beta in GitHub. Uh, which I downloaded and tested because the current listed plugins in Moodle uh, database is outdated for um, the latest version, re uh, latest release version of Moodle. But uh, okay. you have to use the GitHub one um, to test with the, you know, to match the new releases of both Moodle and Mahara. So I will share with you later um, in the course. I have a link down there. Um, yep. Thank you very much. Uh, in short, yes. Yeah, in short, uh, yeah, you needed the plugin. So um, we already had some submission. Okay. And let's go there to check. So view as a teacher, you can go to the all submissions. And you will see here different uh, submissions. Let's say, uh, for instance, um, no, not this one. Let's say anybody submitted yet. Uh, if there's a mission, it's here. Let's say, you know, you can you can click it one and you can go to check it and then um, you can grade the student here just like you grade the other um, other assignments basically. So that's a rather simple on this side. So, so far we covered the um, resume. Um, that's the first assignment. And let's move on to the second one. That is the uh, very important part, which I show you earlier, um, that in Mahara, students create pages. And on each page, you have different elements of content, right? So if you go to the second assignment, which is C2, uh, you will see a picture here earlier. You already saw one, actually. Um, you have different elements to add. So for instance, um, you can add a text, which is plain text to just, uh, it's like label in Moodle if you want. And then I most like external media, this element, because it can allow you to paste the link from different sources such as YouTube and uh, SlideShare, and you can embed that media content into your page. It's very needy, it's very uh, handy and very um, colorful to, to watch. It's a brilliant uh, element to help you enrich the, the page's content. And then you have embedded media, which is to upload the media, you, you know, video, um, you know, video, especially audio, this kind of thing, upload from your local disk. And you can embed a PDF file. You can also add a Google Maps, a Google Book, and Google different kind of products um, on the page, uh, an image, file to download, 
organize a, a list of files in a folder. You can show a list of images as well. And what we did earlier was to add an entire resume. And you can, if you know some coding, you can also um, you know, add some HTML file to the page to customize it. And many, many other things you can see here. So um, it depends on what kind of uh, elements students use. It's totally up to them. So the second one is basically, um, I would like to ask you to try with the function of creating a new page using another element. So far, we used my entire resume, right? So this next one, you can try, for instance, with external media, add your favorite YouTube video to it, and then submit it back to the C2 assignment, OK? And uh, um, after that, um, you will basically understand um, how these uh, different elements can, can work on your page, OK? So, um, if you are still with me, we can go to, let me close all here. Okay, refresh here, redirect here. So um, so again, this is a very important menu that um, earlier we already create a resume here, right? Any creation you want for your account is under create. And share, you have share by me, share with me submissions, right? So um, these are all things related to, to sharing behaviors. And then you have engage, to engage with the different people, to add them as friend to create groups and all the discussion you are involved or you initiate it will be shown here under discussion topics. And then you have managed to um, import content and export content, okay? So because of the time, I would um, not, um, probably it's not a good idea to wait for you to finish the second um, assignment. I would just quickly walk you through um, the rest. So later, if you wanted to play with the assignment, you can go ahead. And uh, let's say um, one question that was raised earlier. And uh, let me go back to the slide. This is a this is a basically a, a overview of mapping Moodle and Mahara. Okay, so. Let me bring out the tool here. So we have Moodle here. We have Mahara here. So uh, the upper left corner here is to um, export things, export things from Moodle to Mahara. And this part left down corner is to import import the content from Mahara to Moodle, which we experienced earlier by creating your resume page and send it back to a Mahara assignment page, right? That is to import content, in particular a page to a Mahara assignment page. So we also have on the Mahara side, which is import, that is to import content generated on Moodle to Mahara. And then you have this export side, which you actually create content on Mahara and export to Moodle. So between Moodle and Mahara, the authentication that, it used, that is used is called XML RPC Mnet. So there's very detailed Configure, configuration do, um, documentation available on Mahara to uh, guide you how this can be done. So because of this authentication, 
this exporting importing becomes uh, um, available. Okay. Also, um, earlier that uh, plugin I was uh, having difficulty of remembering. It's a Maharos plugin. So if you search on Google Maharos plugin, it will take you to the um, GitHub site uh, page of a Mahar Maharos plugin where you have the latest uh, uh, release of this plugin, you can experiment with the, the um, Mahara assignment. Um, it's basically Mahara assignment um, plugin for Moodle. So because of this plugin, this export to Moodle from Mahara's pages and collections become possible. So, um, so yeah, so let's look at the Mahara side again here, uh, the import and the export. Earlier we experienced what? We experienced that we create a page and on that page, we add some element to it and you can further do what? You can further do, um, besides the submitting as an assignment to Moodle, you can also share it to groups, okay? You can also, um, assemble different pages and form a collection. Let's say I'm doing a research about how to write an academic paper. So first page is about how to um, locate the appropriate uh, um, academic database. The second page is about how to write a proper English. Third page is about something else. So that's different pages inside one collection. And this collection can be also submitted as assignment content to a Moodle assignment on Moodle. But that's about it. That's about page and collection. That's the only two that you can submit back to Moodle. Anything, for instance, happening in group, no. Okay, so this is something you needed to um, understand here. And then on the upper side here, we have uh, something coming from Moodle. Uh, which can per perhaps from um, foreign posts that you were fiercely discussing with the peers and teacher about something and you would like to keep archive of that content. You can export it to Mahara and uh, um, um, pull that into a page that you create and share it. Okay, so um, what kind of content can be pulled out from Moodle. Um, it can be discussion content in foreign. It can be um, some uh, entries in the glossary or dictionary, or it can be um, something else in the chat that you are doing with your classmates. Um, so um, it's not everything you can pull out from Moodle. There's a limited list of um, content you can pull out. And later I will, I will uh, show you uh, what it is like. So more or less on the technical side, you need to pay attention to these two great um, boxes. Um, that's all you need to match Moodle and Mahara. And as for the um, as for the um, Mahara plugin, how to um, install it and configure it um, on the page of that plugin. Um, it has a detailed instruction. I also had a documentation available at the end of the course and uh, under takeaway. So if you are interested, you can give it a rate. And next, uh, let, me, let me now go to the page of um, window, okay. I will share, I will go back to the, um... I'm sorry, why is it that I can't find the little three bars that um, you see that are very, very important? Oh, you mean on the Mahara side? Yes. Can you see I'm, I'm here not... on the right corner? Yeah, I, I can't get it, I can't get there and I keep ending up on, um, I, I just can't get there. Mm, I, I'm, in, I'm in the researching courses I'm, and, I, and I have all that, but I... Researching yeah, courses. I, I get blocked at that login phase. Ah, so if that's the case, um, you probably need to go back to, um, well, on the login page, 
uh, about welcome, you know, um, on the left side, there is a hyperlink text called redirect. Mm. Or you can just, uh, you know, um, is it possible that you actually got side out on the Moodle side? Go back to check your Moodle page. If you are side out, you need to sign in again and then refresh the page in Mahara, you will be in. Because sometimes yeah, looking, you can be session looking, out. I'm looking, I'm right now, I'm looking at the exact same page. I, I'm looking at the, I was looking at the same page. I'm on researching courses and I have navigation network servers and things like that. Sorry to interrupt, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Let me see. Is it possible that you can share your screen maybe? Um, is it possible you uh, no, share don't, your I don't want to hold, I don't want to hold things up that much, but, but um, I just can't find the three bars from, from, from this. Because you are not logged in, right? No, it looks like I'm logged in. Okay. I have the, yeah, I'm, I'm logged into the Moodle. I'm logged into the course with a green pretty stuff on it. Um, because there are two, there are two websites here. So maybe you missed out uh, this second website. So Moodle and Mahara, they are separated two websites, right? So one, uh, the course that I created is on the Moodle side and all the Mahara stuff is in the researchic.com slash portal. And if you log in, on the course site, which is this website, so all the links I'm sending to the um, to the public chat. Okay, so I'm sending to the public chat two links. The first link is portal. The second link is courses. Courses has a, is a based on Moodle, and portal is based on Mahara. And in order to yeah, see I the get, three to th bar, sorry, I get to that login page, but it. Um... But it doesn't give me the OAuth to Google um, option. Uh, um, that's rather weird. Do you mind if later, if you have some time, you can yeah. stay and I okay, can sorry. help yeah. you with yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. So um, that's a move forward because earlier I, I mentioned something about exporting content from Moodle to Mahara, right? Mm -hmm. So now I would like to um, quickly show you that because uh, you don't just want um, to pull in content from Mahara. You also want some content to be pulled out from Moodle to share with uh, uh, Mahara so that you know all the official kind of uh, achievement of students can be archived and demonstrated in Mahara um, or in the hand of students. So what you can do here um you can go to the there is uh engaging sorry not here sharing exporting here under lesson six assessment with mahara you have mahudo here so um you can export um under e enrich details of no, the knowledge you have export Moodle's forum posts to Mahara, okay? If you click here, you, you can see some screenshots, okay? So under, basically, um, on this website, um, if you are involved in a discussion um, in the forum, um, the, the, the content you post in the forum, it's going to have this hyperlink called Put export to portfolios. Okay, that's a link you can use to export to um, your content to Ma Mahara. And uh, there are two types of export formats. I usually go with HTML. That's fair, um, fairly simple. And you click it, and then you just continue to your. Um, it will say. It will tell you um, in the message say, saying the export has been finished. Now, do you want to um, go back to the forum or do you want to continue to the portfolio? If you say continue to the portfolio, you are going to be jumped to the Mahara side. 
and you are going to see the HTML already positioned there, pulled out from Moodle. And you can find this content under files, under home. That's where you are going to, to find it, okay? So this content becomes a HTML file. As you can, as you remember earlier, we can add a different elements of content to a page. HTML file is one of them. Okay, so um, after you actually pull out this HTML, you add it to the page of the um, on Mahara, it's going to be displayed there exactly what it was displayed in Moodle discussion, the content of your contribution. So that is one way to, to do it, okay, to pull out the Moodle foreign discussion to your Mahara ePortfolio page. And another thing that you can do with uh, exporting is to export some submitted assignment in Moodle to Mahara. Okay, so there's, as you can see earlier, we have in Mahara assignment page, um, um, like um, you have Mahara assignment or you can um, submit a, P, a, a file or you can directly write something um, to submit it to the assignment. So. This assignment exporting thing to Mahara doesn't work with the Mahara assignment, of course, because you have everything on Mahara already. It would just not make any sense to pull it back. Um, it works though with the file submission and the text uh, um, submission as the assignment type. So I'm just quickly checking um, this page. Um, we have about eight minutes left, but um, uh, let me show you. Um, this is a, a screenshot of the assignment page where it requests you to submit a file, and this person did. And under the file, you will see there's an export to portfolio link. Okay, so you can you can have two types, right? You can have either file submission or only text submission. Either type have this hyperlink called export to portfolio, which you can export. And then you can, um, this time you can use either file or leap to a portfolio format. So I choose leap to a portfolio map and continue. And later you can uh, import that directly to your Mahara because earlier I show you here, um, under here, you have the manage import and export, right? So you can go to import. And if you did all these things correctly earlier of exporting assignment content to Mahara, you are going to find the um, content there under your export. So um, that's that's about it. And uh, um, I apologize for all this a little bit messed up uh, um, procedure um, of jumping around and uh, um, I hope it can help you a little bit to understand um, what Mahara can help. And in case you need any technical um, discussion with me about how to match Mahara and uh, Moodle um, regarding Mnet and uh, the, the Mahara assignment plugin, um, please email me or, um, or send me a message um, here on this course, I will be happy to discuss with you. So um, I will leave you about six minutes for any questions. Um, um, I was a little bit too ambitious to cover the whole course. In the end, we only cover quite a small amount of it, um, but the whole course is complete. So you can always come back to actually use the course um, in your own pace. And uh, I hope that will be uh, not a disaster as today I present in this workshop. And uh, if you have any question, um, you can also communicate with that in the QA forum. Um, I will be always there to help. Okay, you can just open your mic and uh, um, can talk. For instance, uh, Almonza, you have some question. Uh, excuse me, I have one question. Yes. Uh, I can see when uh, I click on uh, create, uh, raise some, I can see create plan. Can you explain me 
as a short, uh, how can you use plan and integrate it with model? Sorry, can you repeat the question? On the Mahara side, when you click yeah. your create, when you click on create, I can see create plan. Can you explain, explain me something about how to create a plan? Uh, yes. Um, hold on. Let me just quickly go to the um, Mahara side. This is a little bit slow, isn't it? So um, just using this, after this workshop, can I use and watch the Mahara course? Yes, it's always there, so you can always use it. So, sorry, come back to your question. After you click Create, Please and share your you screen. Are... Oh, yeah, right, sorry. That's a good idea. Windows, big button, okay. So here, Create. So um, create and the, the, your problem is uh, about uh, plans. Hello? Hello? Uh, I think, yes, you think you just wanted to see uh, create plan just to perhaps oh. go through that once. Okay, so if you create a new plan here. Yes, it's create plan. Yeah, you can create a plan, for instance, the 22 annual plan. And then you add some description. Or template is another thing that I didn't cover, but you can use a course to understand more. Anyway, you save plan. And under plan, oh, what is this? I think I have some <laughs> technical problem here. So that's that's like back to the problem but anyway like um plan is actually um basically as you understand it it's just a, a plan that you you stuff into different kind of tasks and uh, uh, it can be used to, um to let's say educate students allow students to arrange their let's say for instance different courses uh, um arrangement so um the main function of it is just you add a plan, you add a tasks to it, you can set a deadline for it, and uh, uh, that's about it. Yeah. But unfortunately, now this platform is somehow a little bit unstable, so um, it doesn't go where I want it to go. So, <laughs> unfortunately, um, I cannot show I, you. But I think mine has. So, shall I show? Yeah, please. <laughs> Right. I'm I'm seem to be having somewhat better luck. I know. He seems to love Adam somehow. I hope he loves <laughs> all of you. He uh, hates me somehow. So, yeah. So I've you just saved it and it said plan save successfully and now I've got an option yeah, to add. Yeah, you can create a new task. Hmm. Yeah, and then you add a title, you create a start day, completion day. And you can even set a reminder to remind you by email, for instance, when to remind you about this task. Yeah, for instance, yeah, exactly. So give you a description, some tag if you want. Is it possible it's my Chrome's cookie problem? I have no idea safe yeah exactly so um see you have a task there and you just add a different tasks to the plan you can have multiple plans and one plan has multiple tasks and uh, you can um, basically organize your learning plan this way learning tasks this way it's just one um application yeah very so if, like I understood. if i want to uh, share this, I would need to make a page first and embed it on the page. Exactly, exactly. So, right. page is basically your um, your window, your shopping window, if you want. Um, any people who want to access your content, you share it through the page. So, no matter it's a plan, a task, some uh, a media, you share some file, you share, you got added to a page, and then share the page to the person. Mm, 
somewhere in here yeah. I should see show more you have that button show more oh, that's what it... yeah oh you show just more. keep hitting it and more more keeps coming up yeah exactly wow. so you see you have plans there so you add plan you can choose plan b exactly and then you just save play gonna make it retractable i think with the um you know quite quite a okay a good tech now... skill like adam has <laughs> you can manage mahara it's a buggy <laughs> thing i know if i share uh actually i went to public i'll do a new secret yeah. url so another thing i would like to share with you is that you know now adam is creating a secret url that's the best way to share with anybody about your page because it doesn't need that person to hold account right uh, if you in any case share with others using the drop down list under uh, it can lead to sometimes unpleasant feeling when they cannot visit your content by the link Okay, I'm not sure if that's going to work so well, but I just shared this in the chat. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, there are several other things that I didn't mention, but um, the course cover it extensively, and uh, I hope uh, you will find the course more useful than this workshop. <laughs> oh, no, but this that's is... a learning experience. This is. <laughs> This is seem like a bit disaster for me, but um, I, I like it that you guys have patience with me and I appreciate it. And uh, in case of any question, please ask me um, anytime you want. Yeah. I don't know, it was a disaster somehow, he did awesome. <laughs> okay, so um, I think you probably needed to move on to the next presentation. Thank you for your time here. I appreciate it deeply. Yep. Thank you very much. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I learned a lot. So uh, really, really, thank you. For, uh, kind of mind blown right now. So thank you very much. That's very, very nice to hear. I was like panicking there. Oh, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. I will see you around.